What's up, guys? I'm Lisa Foyles here again on Analog, the show that aims to quadruple your gaming library with more games like the ones you already love. Today, it's all about Cartman, Butters, Kyle, Stan, and the beautiful Princess Kenny. South Park The Stick of Truth finally arrived in April of this year for 360, PS3, and PC, uh, and it was well worth the wait. I will say. But if you've beaten it already and you want more of the same, we have got you covered. Here are games similar to The Stick of Truth. I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. The moment I entered into my first altercation as the new kid in South Park under the ever-sarcastic wing of Eric Cartman, I thought of Paper Mario. These two games are very similar for several reasons. Let's start with combat. Stick of Truth and Paper Mario share the same DNA. Combat is turn-based with time attributes. You select the thing you want to punch and then you walk over and punch it. Attack at just the right time when button prompted for critical hits. Not only does Paper Mario share combat mechanics, the Mario and Luigi games for GBA and DS do too, for that matter, uh, but it also gives you that same front view third person perspective with flat 2D graphics. Hence the name Paper Mario. The whole point of Stick of Truth was to give it the art style and colorful vibrance of the TV series, so it felt like you were playing an episode of the show. Paper Mario is the same, bright, charming graphics with flat paper characters who roam around in environments that certainly don't feel flat. It's an awesome mix of 2D and 3D. Paper Mario, like Stick of Truth, is a light RPG. It's simplistic and deals in low numbers. You have 50 hit points instead of 5,000, for example. And lastly, my favorite similarity, in Stick of Truth, you're hunting for the Stick of Truth, and in Paper Mario, you're after the Star Rod of Power. Basically the same thing, guys. Come on. Stick of Truth is wrought with dirty jokes, adult themes, and butt probes. I cannot say that with a straight face. But underneath the toilet humor and the crude language, the game is really about being a kid. It's you and your friends dressing up in costumes and roaming the neighborhood on your epic quest. Well, same thing with Costume Quest. It's Halloween. You and your sibling, you select to be either the brother or sister, tromp through the neighborhood in your costumes in search of candy. But a creepy goblin snatches your sibling, and the adventure to save them and find out what the heck is happening begins. South Park, the game, and the TV show thrives by having adult themes that are tempered by a kid's interpretation. Kids see things differently, and Costume Quest recognizes that in combat. Same combat as Stick of Truth, turn-based with timed attacks, but once you enter the battle arena, your cardboard robot costume morphs into a giant mech with real magic powers. Each costume transforms radically once battle begins, and they each have different attacks. It's imagination come to life, sort of like Butters' alter ego, Professor Chaos. Costume Quest keeps track of the friends you make similar to Stick of Truth's in-game Facebook page, and sadly, they also share a short length. Both games can be beaten in about 10 to 15 hours. But they're totally worth it, trust me. Okay, okay, enough childish games. If you like Stick of Truth for the clever comedy, wacky situations, and hilarious details, then you need to play Earthbound. This one was easy. Trey Parker and Matt Stone even cited Earthbound as inspiration for Stick of Truth. They wanted an RPG that made you feel like just a kid playing a game where a bunch of crazy stuff happens. Earthbound gets the crazy right. Just because it makes you feel like a kid does not mean it's kiddish. This game is hilarious. Yes, it's another turn-based RPG based off the original Dragon Quest model, but its characters, dialogue, and the ability to make fun of itself has made this a cult classic. You fight enemies like the spiteful crow, annoying old party man, urban zombie, and the clumsy robot. You'll notice insane attention to detail as you roam around with your buddies. This is a game that must be played slowly. Wackiness aside, Earthbound is actually a really great game that connects with you on an emotional level, especially at the end. It's unexpected, but totally works. So if you want a real-life, actual quest, try getting your hands on an original Super Nintendo cartridge of Earthbound, or just make it easy on yourself and play it on the Wii U Virtual Console. Because trust me, it is impossible to find. Leave a comment with games you think are similar to South Park Stick of Truth, and, you know, any creepy back alleyways you know of where people can buy Earthbound. Hit me up on Twitter, at LisaFoils, and I will see you next week for another episode of Analog.